Hello, everybody. So, this is my fifth time filming this video, and it has not been working very well. I need to get a new phone. So, where is it? There it is. I wrote down a bunch of things that I intend to do with this upcoming fire-centered month. And also what I intend to do with Beltane, which is in the next three or four days. Some people celebrate it on April 30th. Some people celebrate it May 1st. I'm going to celebrate it May 1st unless something else, oh my god, comes up. So, I just wrote down a bunch of the overall themes for a fire element month, I guess. I need to come up with a better saying for that. Anyhow... Uh, it's just very vague, generalized stuff. I haven't really come up with an actual project that I'm going to focus on. Like, my last month's project was my ancestry work, which I'm going to continue to do throughout the fire month and probably for the rest of forever, especially until Samhain, and then I'll actually make an altar and get it all fixed up and have it very nice. So, first off, fire is representative of passion of love fertility not only in procreation but also in setting forth plans and having things go through uh going forward freedom change creativity divination strength and power and i always write down creativity and divination because i do it all the time it doesn't matter what kind of an element i'm working with i do divination and i'm creative in every element that is Satan trying to come into the door, in through the door, because I don't know why. But it's very windy outside, and the door buzzes when it gets windy. Nothing I can do to fix it, so Satan will just be there once in a while. I hope he's not too loud, because I can't record this video again. I have lost all of my marbles. So, also representative of fire are red candles and cinnamon, and then I wrote down a bunch of the other... Uh, correspondences for herbs and whatnot. Uh, cinnamon cloves, pepper, citrus, ginger, and cedar. And I would really love to get some cedar to burn because it smells so nice. And then, of course, your fire elemental animals, lizards, dragons, etc. I might do a bunch of art, too, uh, in that vein. And, um... Also, we're going to be working a lot with Hestia and seeing how that goes, uh, since she is a very fire-centric goddess. Um, and then for Beltane, I just wrote down a bunch of the flowers that go with Beltane. Dandelion is one of them, so I'm going to continue to work with my dandelion salve, and I will definitely show you that when it's done. What did I do? I put it in the 21st, so it'll be ready around, what is that, the 7th? Yeah, something like that. So... Yes. And also Beltane is really good for working with the Fae. I've actually tried to do that before and it didn't really work out, so we might try that again. And something else that is also very Beltane-y is uh, making things specifically out of oatmeal and then other grains um, for some reason. I guess as an offering for the Fae, which I also did two years ago. And I guess this is my third Beltane, so this time around maybe I'll actually bake something. <laughs> like, I, I did very well in that moon ritual on the last full moon. I was proud of myself, so we'll see if we have this energy keep going. So, those are the things that I am trying to work into my fire element thing. Also, I wanted to show you real quick the books that I'm reading. The first one is this one, which is Letters of a Woman Home Center. It's actually written by the lady um, who wrote the diary. So it's straight just diary entries of her and her four-year-old, I think, daughter went to live by themselves in the uncolonized, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Utah. What was Utah back in 1806 or something? Um, and then I also got Living with the Gods, and it's this giant, like, National Geographic type book with pictures that is basically about every religion ever and how they're interconnected. And it was actually really interesting. You get to learn a lot about different cultures and what they do, um, 
for their religion and how far it traces back to what they used to do and how they're connected to the rivers and the earth and etc. Also this, which is not reference material at all. It's like a knockoff of Fifty Shades of Grey. Just, yeah, that was not for um, research at all. Satan? Yes, I hear you. He's still out there trying to come in. Anyhow, those are just a few of the things that I hope to focus on. I really hope he's not too loud. That would be really terrible if I had to redo it again. I'll just pick it up tomorrow as many times as I've tried to film this thing today. Anyhow, I hope everybody has a wonderful Blessed Beltane and you will definitely see what I am doing on my Instagram because I am particularly attached to taking pictures and posting them on Instagram. So, um, yeah, everybody have a wonderful Beltane. Tell me what you did for your Beltane. Honestly, leave an in a link to your Instagram. I love following people back on Instagram. It's great. So, I'm still not letting Satan in. I don't even know if you can hear it, but there's a buzzing in the door. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody have a wonderful night. Be safe out there, witches. Mwah. Let's see if I can turn the camera off this time.